Good evening. Today is August 24th. And hopefully you can hear me. I'm going to talk about medication, narcotic medication that your doctors are prescribing to you. The reason why I'm talking about this is simply because last week my son's good friend overdosed. They found him in the bathroom dead. They don't know why and how. And it came to a surprise to us all. I personally known my son's friend for 16 years. And this is very, it came to a surprise. This kid was older than my son, who's 35 years old. So he's 37. And seemed to us something that was very unlikely for him to do. His pockets were empty and his shoes were gone. So it appeared to have possibly been a robbery that went bad to make it seem like an overdose. But as of now, we don't know. But I want to talk about the narcotics and the prescription medication for the simple fact that this is happening a lot. So what I want to say is this. If you're prescribed prescription medication Lock your medication away. Even your doctors say this. Buy your safe and lock your medication away. Please, I'm pleading with you. And also make sure you have Norcam, Norcam, sorry, available. Make sure you always have your box of Norcam available. If you have your prescription narcotic medication and you you are addicted to your medication please get help because overdose you don't know you did it you don't know you did it and the longer that you're out your brain is not getting oxygen and you're doing more damage to yourself and your body and it's very painful to family members now, a couple years ago, if you go back and look at some of my videos, you will see that my medication was stolen from me. When I was first on it, I was on lots of medications. I don't even remember. All I know was Soma was one of them. But I was on a lot of them. And I was so out of it that people living with me was saw how it was affecting me and making me feel. So they thought they could help themselves to my medication. So I had my medicine stolen from me a couple of times. And I would go to the doctor and tell them, well, look, my medication was stolen from me. I have to file a police report, you know, what you have to go through. And so now they drug test you, thank goodness. But it's hard to get your medication now. So make sure if you are receiving any fentanyl, oxycodons, or, or naproxen, or naproxen is a narcotic, but people still abuse it. Or, you know, I don't even know all the names of the narcotics. And, and do I care? I don't. But if you have any prescription medications that are narcotics, make sure you lock them away. And if you were selling them, I just want to make this very clear because your prescriptions have numbers on them and it follows you. You don't want to be responsible for someone's death. You do not want to be responsible for someone's death. You don't want that blood to be on your hands. 
hope you think about that. Because that could be your child, your neighbor's child, someone's watching this video's child. Please have a conscience. Because these people are sick. They really are. And to my understanding, it's really, really a hard addiction to kick. So I ask of you again to please lock your medication away. Please don't sell it. If you're not using it, don't go get it. Okay? If you're struggling, look for help, aid through agencies. If you're able, get a job at Walmart and greet people or, or work at home or something. Find some other means. I'm asking you. I'm begging you. Thanks for watching. The Sassy Beauty 69. Fibro fighting warrior. Whatever you want to call me, as long as you don't call me a name that I don't answer to. Have a good evening and be well. My tiara is because my birthday's in a week. Take care.